Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Sometimes I just have like a bunch that I want to put out and then sometimes I just need a break from it, like a mental break. But this just in, so I just, this just happened like literally like an hour ago. <laughs> so I thought, you know, might as well talk about it. Well, <clears throat> what happened earlier this week was that apparently my mom tried calling my oldest kid and didn't leave a message. So my oldest kid texted me and said, hey, you know, because I was at work, texted me and said, hey, mom, uh, Bob should, tried calling. I was thinking about calling her back and seeing about getting that money that, you know, <clears throat> that's my, my brother that passed away put aside money for any of us who had kids back in, well, he died in 95. So that money has been sitting there and legally... If my kids are 18 and going to college or 25, they legally should have that money. And my mom and sisters, my sister's kids are way younger than my kids. And yet they have their allotment of the money and they won't give us ours. And they've been holding on to it legally. My kids should be able to have that money. And my kids going to college in like next month or this month. So it's not cool that they're holding on to it. So anyway, I pretty much gave up. Like they're not going to give it to you. They're going to dangle it like a carrot. They're just going to keep playing the games that they do. My mom keeps telling them it's a lot of money, but won't say how much. It's just so stupid. So I pretty much just gave up on the whole thing. But my kid does, <clears throat> it is their money. So it's like, you know, you do you. So they asked me, which I thought was nice. You know, can I call Bobcha to see if she will give me the money? And I'm like, well, you know, just keep me out of it. I don't want anything to do with this. So, um, so apparently they, um, my kid called her and my husband was nearby. So I don't know if my kid had the phone on speaker or what, but they had the conversation with my mom and then apparently my husband got on the phone with my mom, lasted a minute, hung up on her, I guess whatever she said pissed him off because no one can really, really last talking to her. But she pretty much had not changed, she said. She pretty much thinks she did nothing wrong. And I even asked them, like, you know, she also expects them to come out to California to go kiss her ass for the money. And I'm like, why does somebody, this is, I don't understand, why does somebody want somebody to visit you? Why would you want someone to visit you if they don't want to? Like, why would you want that? If you clearly know the person doesn't like you, why would you force them to come see you? <laughs> it's not her money. It's my brother's. Like I said, she can give her money and will it to my sisters. I'm sure they... You know, I, I'm sure they've gotten her to do that already. Anyway, okay, so that all happened, whatever. I just said, leave me out of it, you know. However that phone call went, it went. So today, my sisters always use my cousin from back east as a messenger. And so I thought it was my middle sister, but it was my older sister apparently that messaged my cousin saying... Can you please relay this to me that apparently, you know, my kid and husband contacted mom about the money and it put her through a tailspin of dementia and now she's having blackouts and she's in a very vulnerable, dangerous state. I'm like, you've got to be effing kidding me right now. So anyway, my cousin relayed that message and I'm like, first off, First off, they called her back. Second off, if she's so demented, how does my sister know about the phone call? She wasn't there. She doesn't live with my mom. So how does she, how, well, my mom was in a great state of mind to tell her about the phone call and then she went dementia? I don't really believe this horse crap. I do believe my mom plays it. I know she does probably, she does definitely does have mental issues. I mean, it's obvious by the way, you know, narcissistic behavior is definitely a mental issue in itself, but I think she's playing victim big time. And to make it sound like m my family is the reason why she's in a vulnerable blackout, demented state. I'm like, you don't even think to blame them when they, all they did was called her back. I'm like, give me a break. And she's probably not ex exactly friendly to talk to. So I don't think that they probably responded in the best light. But I think when my husband hung up on her, my kid called her back and continued the phone call. So my kid didn't have a bad conversation with her. Um, 
and they didn't sound like they did when they they said they were going to call her they didn't complain about it afterward and I didn't, again I didn't really inquire much because I really don't want to know but I just thought really you're going to put blame on us that she's in her own state she put it upon herself first off and then second off the message said oh she'll get the money when she's well and or dies and I'm like really so my kids 18 and in college and, and by the rules of what that will said the kids can have the money if they're 18 and in college or 25 how come my kids can't get the money when legally they are of age to get the money and in the state of going to college your kids are like 11 years old and yet they have their money I don't get it that's why I told my I told my husband and I told my kid, just please don't bother her anymore. They're just gonna blame you if she dies. It's all your guys' fault. They're just gonna always put the they never think they're wrong. They never will think they're wrong. We're the assholes. We always will be. We can't fix that. That's just how my family is, and it pisses me off that I have such shit family. It really does sometimes. I'm like, I don't know what it's like to have a, a good relationship with a mom. When I see these people with their moms, and their moms are, you can have a normal conversation with them. It blows me away, because I don't know what that's like. My mom just is so out there all the time. Never, ever could you have a normal conversation with her. And it sucks. But anyway, so that's the recent situation that happened today. I don't know if any of you guys have gone through something similar, but I just told them, like, please don't bother anymore. You're not going to get the money. They're going to keep dangling that because by, by law, they should, my kids should be able to have that money right now. The fact that they're going to wait is bullshit because that's the same game my mom plays. It's never a good time, she would always say, just so she wouldn't have to do it. So they're doing the same thing, trying to look good for my cousins to look like they're not assholes. But in all reality, they are assholes because they're not giving us the money. And they keep playing that little dangling carrot. Wait till she's well. She's never well. She's never going to be well. She's not going to die for another 20 years. What are you talking about? Like, just, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, I'm just, like, so floored by uh, the games they play and how everyone just, you know, well, I hope to God people don't believe their antics, but all the same. So I wrote to my cousin back, and I just said, you know, Whoever wrote this message, I thought, literally, I thought it was my middle sister. I said, don't believe their antics. They're liars and fakes, but it is what it is. I said, but do me a favor. Please do not relay the message when my mom dies, because my family has died to me a long time ago. So, you know, when I say my family, I talk about my siblings and my, my mom. My dad and my older brother already passed away. So I don't want to know. I really don't want another updates. I really don't. I don't go looking for their updates. I don't need to know about their updates. And if, if any of my cousins decides their conversation is always going to be about them, then I don't want to talk to them either. Because that's one of the reasons why I stopped talking to my brother. Is because every time he would call, when he just conveniently would call me a lot when I moved out here to Nevada, just to mention my mom and sisters on purpose, just to stir it up, just so he could enjoy the, you know, enjoy the drama. So I stopped talking to him. Because I'm like, yeah, if that's all he's doing, then I don't need to talk to him. I say, I have shit family. I really do. And it sucks because it's hard to explain that to other people out in the world. But I do. So anyway, that's my update, guys. And uh, until then, I'll talk to you later.